Oh, come on, Frank. We really don't need to tell Megan about this, do we? I mean, it's not like it changes anything. You know, the hen part is all good. Everyone's happy. I'm not. I don't like lying to her. Fine, you've got a conscience. Well, we can sort that. Why go to all this trouble? We need the business. <sighs> No, you can't be that desperate for a few extra punters. This place does all right. Well, we need better than all right. Why? Tell me, or I'll go out there and let Megan know what you did. Why are you with her, anyway? <laughs> you had your chance. You blew it. It's for Sarah. You probably heard about our situation. I heard she was ill. Yeah, we need money for her treatment. Okay. So I'm willing to do whatever it takes, scrape together every penny. So please, don't tell Megan. Frank, I would be so grateful if we could just keep this between us. Why don't I open a bottle of wine and see if I can persuade you? Oh, sorry. Hey, you working tonight? Huh? You don't miss a trick. No, no, I, ju I just wasn't sure if you were out on a pretend date again. Not that it's any of my business. Yeah, Paddy, um, I'm sorry about that. It's fine. We weren't right together anyway, were we? We're better off than you imagine my boyfriend. Well, I'd settle for a night off with my feet up, but I'm stuck here on my own while Charity does another vanishing act. Well, she's probably taking all the cockroaches over to Noah's mates. We've got to get them out of the house, won't you? Cockroaches? Cockroaches! Yeah, but not here. You don't have to worry about it. No. I know exactly where they are. You just put on the wig and I'm in the zone. <laughs> that I'd like to see. A new charity would do something like this. You're not getting a penny from us because you sabotaged our venue. Excuse me, you can't just barge in. What are you doing here? Same as you. Thought she was up to no good and confronted her. Ah, oh, yeah. I bet she denied it. Because I didn't do it. Cockroaches. Courtesy of Paddy. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're lying. I can't believe you'd stoop so low to shut down another person's business. I saved your bacon. What's your problem? Your con does, and we're not having it. I can't actually prove anything. No, I don't have to, because I know it was you. Look, I got you out of a hole. I made you look good. I provide an excellent venue. I mean, what, what more do you want? We are never using this place again. Oh, don't be so stupid. Are the hens happy? Yes, they are. Yeah, very. Uh, that is not the point. Well, if they are, I don't see what the problem is. Uh, she is. Yeah. I don't trust her. I've told them they need to leave. Who? All of them. I warned you, I wasn't having them drinking their own booze in here. You can't do that. Oh, they're still in one piece. You should be grateful. <sighs> right, I need you in there. There is baby oil everywhere. The bride has been sick on the way to the bogs and Vic texts and says she's gone to bed. So somebody needs to clean it all up, but it ain't gonna be me. I'll talk to Megan. Try to change her mind. Oh, don't bother. I mean, this kind of thing isn't going to help Sarah, is it? Oh, I need to think way bigger than this. The glamour. Yeah, yeah, bride to be went full on exorcist. Well, you wanted a cut of Megan's business. Looks like you got it. I won't be making that mistake again. I don't want you doing anything you'll regret. Not your problem. There's got to be a better way to get your mitts on the money. Don't you think I've tried? I only really need one big payout anyway. Oh, come on. You must remember the feeling. The buzz. If we just put our heads together, we could make a killing. What do you reckon? We'll see.